Sega. Hello, <laughs> hello there. Uh, welcome to Paradox Power Plays. Uh, holy moly, I am your host, uh, Time Eight, uh, and with me tonight are River K. What's up? What's up? Uh, recorder, dude. Nice. Uh, High Fire Shadow. You tried. I tried. I'm <laughs> sorry. And Dr. Mac Fox. <clears throat> Hello. Long ago and far away, a legendary interdimensional being known as Zordon came to the city of Angel Grove to establish a vanguard in a near, never ending struggle against evil. With the aid of his trusted assistant Alpha 5 and Noble Master sought out a six. Eight. I can't read this quick enough! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say something happened. Let's just say something happened with Zul and they couldn't enter the Gorza. Stop out. Burning in the title of. Now go and rest our heroes. Come on, come on. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers! Wait, no, you're... Mac, how could you possibly pronounce it wrong? It's Mighty Morphin Power Thunderbolt Rangers. <laughs> the movie, press the button. Movie. One player. <laughs> 6,000 years ago, a morphological being known as Ivan Ooze ruled the world with a reign of unparalleled terror! He rid the entire planets of their adult population then brainwash the young to follow in his evil path. A faction of young warriors known as the Order of Melody and, I don't know, lured him into a hyperlock chamber and buried him deep underground. Good. Present day, Angel Grove, an inner city construction crew, accidentally uncovers the hyperlock chamber and releases the power of Ivan Ooze. You know, Mac, with this whole strong bad narration deal, I can't help but come to the realization Very that if you switch the letters in his name, his entire character makes so much more sense because he becomes Bong Sad. Oh. <laughs> wow! <laughs> okay, here we go. Stage one. Black Ranger. It's Morphin Time, mofos! Oh, he's got a gun? Sweet! Oh, yeah, that, that's the axe. It also doubles as a gun. Yeah. Invasion of the Puddle People! From Mars. Ooh. This game was for Genesis? Yeah, yes, this is, is the Genesis version. Every every different console that the Power Rangers movie game was on had a completely different type of game. In this one, you're fighting pretty much all Ooze Men, and the Game Boy and Super Nintendo ones, you uh, would uh, fight actually, the not, uh, putties. Actually, not quite true. How so? As, yeah. as, as you quickly will find out later on, you actually uh, reminisce, uh, and uh, the, the game actually ties into the series as well as the movie. Okay, I need to okay, do putties cool. as well. I need to okay, do so you get to fight putties as well. I need to do a but little research because the way this game is laid out makes you think of a Sailor Moon game I saw in Genesis. Actually, oh yeah, know. this is this is this is similar. But for now, we can enjoy playing Power Rangers: The Movie Invasion of the Purple Nurples. Reminds me of Streets of Rage. Actually. It was well, a one-eyed, one-horned, flying okay. purple people eater. <laughs> yes. That's okay. Nah, uh, that Streets of Rage series is absolutely excellent. I am one of the few people, though, that as far as the music, I'll admit to is the best. But my favorite to play through is actually number three. Streets of Rage three. Two. Day Moon. Okay, what what's what's up with that? I like how they look like. Mutant Ninja Turtles with dreadlocks. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Predator, basically. That store is called <laughs> Image. Oh my god, you're so right. It, he's, he's fighting multiple Predators. <laughs> oh my. That's exactly what we've they're just not, figured out here. They're not Predators, they're Dreaditors. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Whoa, guys, this is more phenomenal. Oh dear lord. In Soviet Russia, Welch's Grape Jam eats you! I don't think the world is ready for turtles that are both mutants and morphing. Hmm. What would they even morph into? They're already mutated! Oh my god, unless... When, they, when, the, when the going really gets tough, they morph back into normal turtles to disguise themselves. They actually had a toy line where they did that. Are you fucking serious? I'm, I am serious, but we're getting off topic here. Alright, here we go. Boss oh, fight. Here we go. Okay. I don't get how the time works. Is that minutes? And I screwed up. 
Oh, good job. <laughs> good job. Oh. You did the thing somehow. I did, I did the thing where screwed finish up. Finish bonus the zero. <laughs> Wait, that's not my fault. Once released from the chamber, Ivan wastes no time and attacks the command center, damaging Zordon and Alpha Five. With Zordon overthrown, the Power Rangers lose their powers! Alpha tells them of a power that will save Zordon. With hesitation, Alpha sends the Power Rangers to the planet I can't read it to find the Master Warrior who will need help who will help them gain the power they need. Wow. Doing right there, strong bad? No. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ivan has gained mind control of the adults of Angel Grove and taken out Lord Zed and Rita. <laughs> that guy looks like a type. <laughs> After landing on yeah. planet what's its name, the Power Rangers run into Dulcia, the Master Warrior who saves them and I can't read fast enough. She guides them to the whatever jungle where they all find <laughs> She warns them of the danger and sends them I can't read quick enough. Can we just yeah, can we just like poison ivy? Can we just call it the plant the planet that Amazon chick lived on for no reason? Yeah. It's called Fados. Okay. <laughs> Continuing up through the jungle in their new ninja uniforms, the Power Rangers encountered many difficult enemies, including the skeleton creatures and the stone gargoyles. Oh, I'm reading too fast. Well, the thing is, the in the meantime, Ivan has used the adults of Angel Grove to help dig up two of his morphological monsters, the Scorpatron and Hornetron. Do not steal. Jesus, all this fucking story. You think we would be telling the, this through the levels? No kidding, man! Upon entering, they discover how to gain the great power from the temple or something. It looks like a cat! With the last of his power, Zordon contacts the rangers and tells them about Ivan! He's done bad. Okay, so With the new power, out. the rangers blast back to Earth. But <laughs> they should have made this part of the game! The land that Angel Grove is Ivan's ectomorphic gods are destroying the city! But you see, Mac, if they make level 1 and level 2 about city levels, they don't have to make lush oh, rainforest God. environments. <laughs> they can be lazy as fuck. I'm saying it's so awful. The power is on, oh my. Were we all supposed to say that? The light no, switch has been flipped. <laughs> remember, the power kids, rangers were supposed to say that, so no worries. Rem remember, kids, the power is on, but after you're done using it, turn it off. Conserve the environment. Like look that. at their faces, they all look like, eh. Eh. All of, all, yeah. of the, all of the Power Rangers suits have like these metallic lips on them for some apparent reason. <clears throat> the and better to eat you with, my dear. And the Pink Ranger has upside down sunglasses. Hey, hey, hey don't mock the Pink Ranger. <laughs> nah, nah, I'll be honest. She is the best one in the SNES version because she's the only one with fucking projectile. Ah, watch this. Wait, hey, what? The Black Ranger has a gun at the end of his axe. Thank you. I said the SNES version, not the Genesis version. Oh, the SNES version, okay. The Genesis have, has fucking blast processing. The only thing on it that didn't have a gun was Sonic, and maybe a few football players. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, as we fight through the menus, people of Angel Grove, um, I gotta be honest, <clears throat> um, this game was a, uh, this game is awesome to play. I can pick this up anytime I want and just play it for a laugh. It's just that much. It's just that cool. It looks like a fun yeah. little beat em up overall. No, it's, it's like. definitely a well made beat em up. I won't deny that. I just argue that the Super Nintendo games were a little bit more unique. Uh, again with the Nintendo. Look, you know. You know that I'm you know that I'm a Sega fan, but I draw the line at Power Rangers and I say they're better on the SNES because they had a better developer. Yeah, this is a job done nicely. This no, this is good too. The, the, the great thing about the Power Rangers games of the 90s is very few of them are actually bad. The ones on Game Boy are great, the ones on Game Gear are freaking amazing. The ones on Super Nintendo are amazing, the ones on Genesis are pretty good too. I think that bar is titled, We Need a Hero. It is. No, you need to get drunk! Is there a little captain in you? Okay, uh... Actually, I have to make uh, an observation, uh, everyone. Oh. No, you, you gotta keep... Uh, What's your if you notice carefully, uh, later on when the used men grab Kimberly, the uh, pink ranger... Yes! Oh look, they're groping her! Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, what? Tisk, tisk. 
Well, all I can imagine is the bar's name, we need a hero because all the people inside are drunk and unemployed. They need someone to help get them back on their feet. Maybe a Power Ranger will be that hero. Or maybe these no. teenagers will keep running around in skin tight unitards and beating the fuck out of purple guys. That was the cutest car horn I've ever heard, by the way. <laughs> the, the horn was cute to you? Weep, weep. Oh, hang on a minute. Are the, uh, she yells when you throw people. Is that a sample oh, yeah. from the movie? Uh, I think it, they might have, they might have just taken that from, yeah, they might have sampled it from the movie. Yeah, it's probably got bit crushed a bit, though. I have to say the graphics in here are pretty good. Animation's yeah. alright. Yeah, the good. animation and graphics are decent. The only issue with the Sega Genesis version is, compared to other beat-em-ups of the time, the sprites are considerably smaller, and the animation's a little bit more limited. But considering this was a movie license title that likely had a very short development time, oh, yeah. I don't I don't blame them at all for where they were. I mean, keep in mind, Aladdin on the Sega Genesis was made in three months. And for that, it was freaking amazing. Agreed. Especially since it's one of the top-selling games on the console. Okay, enough of the console history lesson. Let's <laughs> fight. <laughs> Let's fight the purple people here. Destroy them. They're not. They're not people eaters. They're people gropers. Yeah. I was just uh. gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> they, they like. They definitely like the Pink Ranger's boobies or lack thereof in Sprite work. All I can yeah. say is, go get the Power Rangers, my grapes of wrath! <laughs> that was <is> one line. <laughs> well, that was pretty good, even I have to admit that. <laughs> he waits he waits for a topic to end and then tops it off with a one liner. <laughs> That's just how he works. See? Q-Part! Q-Q-Q-Part! Man, what's with the people in this city? It's like, they all drive the same Jeez car Lord. or something! This entire playthrough you've been doing nothing but falling in love with people's horns. Um, who asked me about the, uh, someone asked about the timer earlier. Oh yeah, um, it's not going by seconds, so it, is it? No, it's, it's weird. Oh, okay. Because it moves at just different intervals. It's not set movement. Uh, it doesn't believe in a regular time, it follows its own uh, course of time. Yeah. <laughs> Wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff, there we go. The best way, I'm just gonna quote John Tron on this, Schmeckens. Schmeckens. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. It, it, it looks like every two or three seconds is a second so far. Oh, huh. well, that sounds about right. Yeah, it's definitely I mean, not a second. Well, uh, the timer, all it does is, uh, well, I'm pretty sure you know what it does if you're familiar with um, Streets of Rage as kills well. Kills you when it runs out. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, here's the thing, it slowly kills you when it runs out. Oh, your really? vitals go down. Yeah, it's, it slowly drains away your health till you complete it. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. It's messed up. It's it, it a is. bad idea. It sends a bad message to kids, though. It's basically, do what you gotta do, because when your time's up, You'll slowly die. Painfully. <laughs> Fighting Oozmen. <laughs> Fighting Oozmen. The, the, last, the last thing you will see in life are the dreadlocks and six pack of a purple puddle of goo. 